I'm Vanessa, and here's what I'd look like if I was an apple. You know, sometimes the world can be a confusing place. One day, chocolate is good for you. The next day, experts say that it's bad for you. Or one week, someone tells you to drink eight glasses of water every single day. Then the next week, experts say just drink when you're thirsty. And then, after all that, your mate tells you that a tomato is actually a fruit. I mean, a lot of us have heard that one before, but it doesn't stop there. Technically, this isn't a vegetable, this isn't a berry, and this banana might look like a fruit, and it is, but it also isn't, and, well, it could actually be a herb. Huh? We're gonna get to the bottom of what's a fruit, what's a vegetable, and what's neither, so you can win these fruit and veg arguments scientifically, and have a glass of fruit punch while being fully informed. Confusion is bananas. Do you think that this is a fruit or a vegetable? I think it's a fruit. That's a fruit. A fruit? Yeah. I actually would say it's a vegetable. All right, hold on, I've got more here. Fruit uh, or vegetable? I think it's a fruit. You think it's a fruit? I think it's a vegetable. That's a fruit. fruit. That's yes. a fruit. Oh, you seem pretty sure of that. Yeah. 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 Uh, vegetable. It's a vegetable? Yeah. Well, it's technically a fruit. Why would you say it's a fruit? Because it's sugary? I don't know. Uh, because it grows on a plant. Why yeah. do you think it's a fruit? It's too juicy. It's too juicy to be a vegetable? Yeah. <laughs> the banana has a case of mistaken identity. Now, this is a great example of all of the confusion. It's a Cavendish banana, which is one of 1,600 banana varieties, and 95% of all bananas eat worldwide are Cavendish. Aussies eat 5 million of these little beauties every single day. Now, to most of us, the banana is just a fruit, but to botanists, it's a fruit and a herb and also a berry. The reason why the humble banana has multiple identities has to do with taxonomy. So to learn more, we're chatting with a botanist. Taxonomy is just about classifying things. So what we do is we come up with all these rules and systems for classifying things based on evolutionary history. There are words that have evolved from common usage and there are words that have specific scientific meanings. So when you say bananas are herb, yes, bananas are herb, because carrying plants are either woody or non-woody. Herbs are non-woody. So a banana's a herb. What is it then that makes the banana a berry? Now you're talking about the bit that we eat. Okay. Right? The bit that we eat, the banana fruit, is a fruit because it develops from a flower. And that's the fruit that we eat. Now, a berry is simply what a banana fruit is. So it's a, it's a fruit that's developed from a single ovary and it's usually got lots of seeds inside it. So a berry is a banana, it's a tomato, and then of course, bizarrely, uh, strawberries and raspberries and things like that are not berries. They're actually not berries. Huh? So going from what you're saying now and getting back to my banana question. I can yeah. call this a fruit, but it's almost like additional knowledge that it is also a berry and also a herb. Yeah. You know, by all means, keep calling it a fruit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I will. <laughs> so the banana is more than just a fruit, botanically speaking, but the seeds that are inside of it, like these ones here, are one of its defining characteristics that do make it a fruit. So these seeds put a lot of other food in the fruit bowl as well, like tomatoes are a fruit, capsicum are a fruit, cucumbers and even peas. When you put them all together, it's a pretty odd looking fruit salad. So if all of those things we thought of as vegetables are actually fruit, what exactly is a vegetable? In botany, vegetables don't exist. An onion is, botanically speaking, a bulb. Asparagus, stems. Potatoes, tubers. Cauliflower and broccoli are inflorescence, the head of a flower that hasn't yet flowered. The botanical term vegetable doesn't exist at all. 
Even though there's no such thing as a vegetable, you should still keep using it in normal conversation. We just wanted to give you more information, but you just keep being you. And technically, the big banana is also the big berry. You could also call it the big herb. And really, it's the most interesting large fruity landmark that Australia has to offer, in my humble opinion. Thank <laughs> you.